Warning, the techniques employed are performed by professionals and should not be attempted at all. Injury or death can result from executing these techniques. This film is for self-defense, safety, and educational purposes only. What's really good, people? It's me, the one, the only, Hadari Kiangozi Bay. And I'm here at an undisclosed location in the sunny southern states. Today, our principal purpose is to check up on German Mama G. Miller and the Akuru family. The last time we hooked up with Akuru, the majority of these students were kids. Mama G. has been giving youth of all ages a head start for 30 years. One of our surprises today, as we caught up with Mama G. and Akuru, was that we were blessed to be with them on location, preparing to shoot a documentary on the African martial sciences. This warm-up video naturally starts with hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques, as you will see shortly. But, just a little info for your dial plate. The DVD is being filmed at the request of several media production studios to highlight the much-anticipated release of the illustrated action novel known as The Sovereign Knights. It will be released in the summer of 2011. My question to Mama G was, is this another super... According to Mama G, this is not a fantasy superhero stick, but Flesh and Blood Legends, a league of martial science nationals with a divine legacy, hidden until now. Their motto is, when all else fails, govern thyself. Please be mindful that this is a trademark line. FYI, February 16th. 2011, Mama G and Akuru will partner up with their Sikh warrior colleagues, Sarjeep Singh of Yutgaka Akara Academy, to provide a startling historical revelation of the link between the Moors and the Sikhs of East India. Now, let me say that one more time. There is a link between the Moors and the Sikhs of East India, and February 16, 2011, Mama G and Akuru along with Sarjeet Singh of Ute Gaka Akara Academy, will reveal that link. This article is being featured in the International Martial Arts Times Magazine. One more time, that is the International Martial Arts Times Magazine. Get it off the newsstand or go online and you'll find it. Now, before we continue, our best wishes and strongest prayers are with Brother Mwanzo and the other VS students who are traveling with him to teach the brothers and sisters in Panama. Brother Mwanzo needs no introduction, for he is the father of African martial arts in America. He is known as Umeme Mpingo, JC or the Pain Technician. Sounds like this brother ain't to be played with. Brother Mwanzo truly wanted to be here tonight, yet he had generously agreed to teach the African martial arts for Hanshe Ricardo Johns at his behest in Panama. And get this, the brother is doing this absolutely gratis. And for those that don't know what gratis means, it means absolutely free. Now, isn't that something to write home about? When was the last time someone gave you something for free? I can't even begin to remember. In addition, Grandmaster Dr. Jamal Miller extends her appreciation to Master Johns for this momentous opportunity for her dearly beloved instructor, whom she owes her life to. By the way, Panama, don't get too attached because Brother Enwanzo is due back and needed for a workshop here on February 25th, 2011. I guess you are wondering why I'm talking about this brother. Well, Mama G is this brother's third highest ranking black level student in Vida Saana. And because she was such an avid student and ferocious fighter, Enwanzo personally recognizes and certifies Akuru as her own system. Man, talk about the baby leaving the nest and making something of herself. I have not begun to speak of this sister's accomplishments in the world and in martial arts. We will let you check her out for yourself. We now take you to Mama G.